Hey everybody, our Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Well, the surprise storms this morning are going to do a couple of things. They're going to probably lower our high temperature for the afternoon. They're also going to raise the dew points and they're also going to lay the groundwork for maybe more storms this afternoon. So this complicates things quite a bit going into the afternoon. So where do these storms come from? Well, we were watching these two thunderstorm complexes up to our north last night. And what's really interesting is the first one actually kind of fell apart overnight and kind of dived to the south. But the second one kind of did a split. A little piece of energy went this way, but a piece of energy went this way and dove down into the Carolinas. So I'm going to loop this a couple of times and you can see this little arc of clouds that came down, basically an outflow boundary was driving a lot of this. Oftentimes, you know, you think the storms are moving, but what's happening is storms are weakening and new storms are forming on the leading edge. And that's why you see kind of all these little storms popping up ahead of this main line as it pushes south. Now, these clouds and showers actually gave us the coolest temperatures of the day. Before they hit, it was around 80 degrees at four or five o'clock this morning, but we have fallen back into the low 70s. So that has cooled us off. But what's gonna happen is, as we go into the afternoon hours, don't expect the clouds and showers to last very long. In fact, I would expect most of these skies will clear out at some point around lunchtime and then it's full on, the heat's gonna crank up. Now, will we get to 100 degrees today? Probably not, but the humidity is gonna be much higher because of the rainfall, and that means it'll still feel like it's 110, even if the air temperature is like 97 or 98. Now, what's interesting too, is these storms have left the groundwork basically for more storms to form later today because they're gonna leave behind little boundaries. And these boundaries are going to allow for new storms to develop. And for that reason, we have seen the severe weather outlook kind of expanded a little bit into our area. Now we're in that medium range. So you can see the, the orange, kind of all the medium range um, for a severe weather risk. So there's potentially we're going to see another round of strong storms probably late today and tonight. But what's fascinating is looking at these complexes of storms. You can see the one cluster up here and one down here. See this arc of clouds? So you see all these clouds, that's going to help keep the sun at bay for a while, but it's about 9, 10, 9, 15 when I'm doing this. Um, you'll be surprised how quickly these clouds can clear out and the sun come out and temperatures could jump real quickly. I don't think we're going to be anywhere close to 100, but we could still be in the mid to upper 90s. And with this moisture from this morning, boy, that's going to be a big, big issue with the humidity level. So let's look at how things unfold this afternoon to see how these storms kind of reform as we get into the afternoon hours. Futurecast kind of shows these storms weakening over the next hour and by lunchtime you can see that we're probably going to see most of the Carolinas start to clear out but there's this other complex developing up in Virginia and West Virginia as we get into the afternoon. So if any sun comes out temperatures are going to warm up rapidly. Obviously we're probably not going to get to 100 but mid to upper 90 is a good bet and then as we get into the evening hours you could see whatever boundaries are left over. And I think it's still wishy-washy on where these storms pop up. Do they form here? Do they form in here? There's clearly going to be some triggers for these storms to develop into the afternoon and evening hours. And in fact, we might see another round of heavy storms develop overnight tonight, mainly to our south. But we'll have to keep an eye upstream as well because there will be other storms that will probably try to develop up in the Midwest and try to make a run down into the Carolinas because What's happening is we could sometimes call this the ring of fire. And you heard me talk about this yesterday. The high pressure system, the big ridge of high pressure that's baking us is there. But these storms are kind of rotating around like this. And because the, of the position of the high, sometimes the storms are actually moving back to the west. And we call that the ring of fire because you get big time storms to develop along the ridge on the edge of the ridge and that's what i would expect to happen later today so it'll be interesting to watch how things unfold this afternoon so the little bit of good news we got some rain uh, it'll keep us from getting to 100 likely but boy is it still going to be muggy it, this time of year with this high sun angle the sun comes out you'll be surprised how quickly things can warm up even with the clouds and showers this morning um you're going to be shocked how quickly things get hot out there this afternoon. So there's a look at the current radar and satellite uh, kind of helping us out right now. Let's look at the temperatures real quickly. I'll throw the temperatures up there just to show you um, where we are temperature wise, because it is interesting. We were probably going to have a record warm, low temperature this morning if it wasn't for this batch of clouds and rain this morning, which helped kind of cool things off. But temperatures right now are running in the low 70s. But you can see where the sun is out. I mean, look at this. Just outside of the storms, it's already near 90. So 
<laughs> it's not taking long. I mean, Columbia's 88, it's 90 in Florence, it's nine o'clock in the morning. So once these clouds move out, anywhere the sun has been out, you could see temperatures have skyrocketed very quickly. So um, I know it feels like it's super cool right now, and it is compared to what it will be later today. But as soon as that cloud cover breaks, whew, the heat will crank up. So the heat advisory and the heat warning still in effect, mainly because we expect the heat indices will still be close to 110, even though the actual air temperature might not get up there. So we'll keep an eye on it today. I think we will see a better chance of storms the next couple of afternoons. So maybe that will help break up our heat wave a little bit, but still play it safe out there. Once that sun comes out, it's full on for the heat and humidity.